Hello, it's Fast Charlie, and I've got Sinister by Al Big Al over the bell. Here's the key. It says made in Taiwan. I don't know what kind of. I mean, it, it looks like a, a quick set type. I actually didn't even think to try putting a quick set key in there, just to see if it would go. I suppose I could. Let's. Do that afterward. If I can get it, I have tried this twice counterclockwise and once clockwise, and just haven't been able to get it. I'm gonna try to start in the back this time because, well, starting from the front didn't work previously. Although, when you go counterclockwise, it will go into a false set pretty quickly on one. I slipped off a three. A little bit of a tick on the. A little bit of movement. Okay. That seemed to come from two. And then one seemed to set. two again. There we go. That was on six. Remember that came from six? Come on. Um, let's check. Three, four. I think it's going to open up here. Maybe on four. Uh, nope. There. It finally opened on one. I did not have one set all the way. All right. Well, thank you, Steel Pinnings, for sending this to me, along with everything else that you sent to me. It's very awesome. And uh, I have to try to keep this in frame using a pinning tray again from Bobby Keys and. Try to get in here without locking it back up. This lock looks like it has been around. Like Big Al might have found this in somebody's basement <laughs> in a wet box. It's, it's a little bit, a little bit corroded shows up I didn't really feel any t-pins but we will use a shim anyway that is not quite going there we go There. <clears throat> Let's see what Big Al put in here. Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm from the key. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if this was originally mummied or not, but either way, number number five couldn't really touch it. If you touched it, I'm guessing he did something to make it stick. If you do touch it, everything had to be picked except number five. Looks like there might be some counter milling in here. Let's let's check it out. One's a standard, two is a spool, three has a it's mostly standard, but it looks like it might be tapered just a little bit at the top. Number four is the same way. Number five is a spool, and it's super sharp, and it has serrations. Yeah, if you overset that, that was probably the, my problem before. Uh, the top of this plug is flat, but that appears to be how it was manufactured. You know, I thought I saw some counter milling, but that might have just been my eyeballs playing tricks on me. Cool, nothing done. We'll get these flipped around real quick. I'm gonna have to show these individually because they're pretty cool. All right, that's the front. Got an X on the front. Gotta get that shim out of there. There was a T pin in one. Short steel spring, a T pin in two. It's like a stepped T pin and it has a catch on it. It's it could be really tricky. Number three, we've got a spool. Nice looking spool, of course, and a steel spring four kind of like a I, I call it like a rounded um, in, on the inside the spool part is kind of rounded oh no oh no <laughs> how in the world did that happen I that doesn't go like that. I think it goes like this. Let's see if I remember correctly. This one that was bigger around the spring that was bigger around goes in two. I do know that. And these look to be the same. Oh my. Got all kinds of problems here. I don't even know how that happened. I I know I felt my tweezers. <laughs> my tweezers hit the. Uh, my tweezers hit the um, pinning tray somehow. And um, bad things happen there. Okay, I think it goes like that. Now number six was is a spool and a steel spring and number five looks to be a standard got a tiny little little bit of roundness to it all right there we go doesn't look like anything was done to the Bible I'm gonna show these real quick again here is number one it looks like it's a standard but it has a tiny bit of taper to the top number two I think this is number two I'll check the key in just a second number two is this nice looking spool
Number three has a little bit of a tapered, tapered top to it. Just a very, ever so slightly tapered. There we go. It's a little easier to see that way. Number four, same deal. Got a little bit of a taper to it. And number five is this really cool sharp spool and it just sits right at the shear line so uh, if you pick it just a little bit I'm sure it'll get it'll get stuck and then this other taper this has more of a taper to it in six let's check and make sure that I put this in correctly looks like I flipped Three and four. I swapped them, but those basically those look very similar, similar design. There we go. All right. Now for the drivers, We've got this T-pin in one. This T-pin in. It's like a stepped T-pin in two, and there seems to be just a little bit of a, yep, there's a little bit of a catch right there. And that would sit right there, just like that. Number one would sit there. Number three, spool. Four is it another spool? Number five is just a standard, and number six is a spool. A little bit of a mushroom action going on there, but here's how it sits at rest. Very very cool. And again, thank you to. Uh, Big Al for making this and for sending it out to the community and thank you Steel Pinnings for sending it to me uh, along with everything else that you sent to me including this cool cool uh, rotary tool kit and some challenge locks and this awesome Everest it's um, part of the tri -lock -thon giveaway I really appreciate it. I have been so fortunate lately. Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, I just, it's amazing how much fun all of this is and uh, how generous everybody is. I just uh, want to thank everybody. I hope everybody has a great, great day and um, be good and be well. Again, thank you, Big Out, and steel pinnings.